Hey everybody. Here is a battery that used to go to a Polaroid portable DVD player. And it actually mounted to the bottom of the DVD player itself. Because you can see these are the little feet on each corner. This battery is about 8 to 10 years old. And um, as you might notice, it's not in a very good state of condition. Normally it's supposed to be flat, but you can notice how it's actually bowed up it's bulging out on the edges this is a lithium ion polymer battery also known as a lipo battery and many many years ago back in the early to mid 2000s when the portable DVD player was still in use something shorted out within the DVD player or the battery connections here we have four connections where the battery actually connected to the DVD player and um, when I went to connect the battery to the DVD player I noticed it started smoking so I immediately pulled it loose and um, over time it just happened to bulge out like this let me just have a look at this you did turn on its side so you can actually see it's really bulged out Especially when you look at this side. This is actually the side that faced up toward the DVD player. It bulged out so bad that it popped out one of the screws. Anyways, here's a look at the spec label. It's a Polaroid model number BT45 7.4 volt lithium ion polymer battery. Rechargeable battery. And, um, of course, made in China. And it has all these, um, caution... <clears throat> notes right here it says danger of explosion if batteries incorrectly replaced replace only with the same or equivalent type and blah 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 so basically like I say when you when this battery was plugged up to the device it shorted out now for those who don't know lithium ion batteries like what's on laptops and lithium ion polymer batteries like what goes in the said portable DVD player or an RC car a higher end RC car these batteries while they can hold a extreme amount of energy they also have um, some serious side effects and can be a real danger of course most lithium ion batteries do have circuitry within the battery itself or at least in the battery pack you'll have circuitry let's say, like let's say in a laptop you'll have circuitry in there that monitors the battery temperature and protects the battery from being discharged too far and when this was, and it says that the battery was to be discharged too far, it can send the battery into a runaway state, where the battery just thermally runs away and gets very hot and um, catches fire and explodes. And um, this battery here was not far from exploding. I mean, you can you can just tell by how bulged out it is. And just have a listen to this thing. I don't know if you can really hear or not. Let me put it up to the camera so you can hear. It sounds almost like a spring inside there. Of course, that's what I mean, the construction of the battery. So anyways, I figured I'd just share this with you all. And by the way, this thing actually still smells like a burnt battery. Anyways, this, um, if you're using something with lithium-ion batteries or lithium-ion polymer batteries, also known as LiPo batteries, be careful because um, if they don't have the proper... Uh, protection cir circuitry in place these things can explode and be very violent not to mention a real bad fire hazard this one nearly did catch fire it didn't actually catch fire but it came close as you can tell by how far it's bulged out anyways um, any questions or comments feel free to ask <laughs>